Hey, Adam and Mary Alice. This backyard in Hamburg was in the direct line of the tornado earlier today, and look what it did. It uprooted a tree in the backyard, left it in ruin, took tree branches and limbs and put them everywhere. This is what's happening all across this street here in Hamburg. And if you're a homeowner and this is your backyard, the question now is, what do you do from here and how do you clean up from this? Out of nowhere, it just, all the vision out of the window was erased and it was just white, pure white. And the house starts to shake. And I hear my dad and he's yelling, everyone get down in the basement, there's a tornado, there's a tornado. Sam Wright remembers the tornado lasting no more than 20 seconds. Just like that, his family's backyard forest had disappeared. 80, 90 year old pine trees, this is about, my dad thinks probably 70 years old. But it goes, we measured this, it's a straight 60 inches, five feet. His next door neighbors didn't fare so well either. Limbs littered the back porch. A fallen tree branch punctured the side of the home. A mile away, the tornado had torn through the Hamburg fairgrounds, leaving cars without windows and picnic tables upside down. By 7 p.m., Governor Andrew Cuomo had arrived on scene here, announcing that 100 National Guard members would be deployed to help with relief. There could be financial help on the way too. If it hits a minimum threshold, if it's more than uh, the county can bear or more than a homeowner can bear, uh, then the state will step in. The Wright family is hoping that's the case because they may have thousands of dollars in damage. We called the insurance agency. You did? Okay. And they don't cover fallen trees. As powerful as this storm was, though, it didn't destroy everything. You got a statue of Jesus right here that remained completely intact, and the, everything just fell in around him instead of toppling him over. That's at least one sign of good luck on a day that this family will be reliving for a long time. And the governor said today that they're going to have to do a damage assessment before they can figure out what type of financial help may be available to either the county or to individual homeowners. So it's kind of a wait and see approach for the state at this point. But the governor was clear that financial assistance could possibly be available. It just really depends on how it all shakes out. Adam and Mary Alice, back to you.